Hey guys, so what I wanted to show you in this video is how to create a map animation with an airplane flying to multiple cities. In this tutorial I will show you how to add one additional route, but the process is exactly the same if you wanted to have 3, 5 or even more flight paths within your map. So to start with I open up my composition. What we have here is an animation of an airplane flying from London to Athens. And what I want to do now is add one additional route of it flying from Athens to Barcelona. So to do that, we first need to grab a couple of layers and duplicate them. I select the airplane, Athens, route, and shadow. I'm going to duplicate these guys by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. And then to keep everything organized, I'll place them above the first set of layers. Next, I open up my camera position and add an additional keyframe for its third location, so that after briefly stopping at Athens, the camera continues onto Barcelona. Let's just quickly preview this, and uh, okay, that's perfect. Next thing is to move the title into its new position, which is, let's say, somewhere around here. And then let's rename this guy. I can't simply rename this particular composition because it's an instance of Athens, and if I change its name, it will change Athens' name as well. So instead, I right-click on it, select Reveal Layer Source and Project, go Control or Command D to duplicate it, and change its title to Barcelona. Now that I have this new composition, I can swap it out in my project. I press Alt, and while holding it, I drag my new Barcelona comp onto Athens, and there, it's swapped. I then double-click on it, and I can change its title from Athens to Barcelona. And what I also want to do is I want to move it to the left of the pin so it displays correctly on the map. Okay, so next we can adjust our path. Now it is important that we don't move our layer itself, as that would later mess up our airplane animation. But instead we adjust the path. I double click on it, then double click again, and that selects my path. Now the thing is that I could just move these points like that over here. Uh, but that's not going to work, because uh, what's going to happen is, as you will see here, the path will be animating from left to right. Um, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to undo all of that. And instead, I'm going to select our path and flip it over just like that. And now we can adjust its shape. And as you will see, if I scrub through my animation, the path is starting from Athens, and that's exactly what we want. Next, we do exactly the same to adjust our shadow. And let's just tweak this guy a little more. So with both of our paths set up, uh, we're now ready to animate the airplane. Let's select Route, expand its properties, and add a keyframe to its path. We then select the keyframe, copy it with Ctrl or Command C, and then click on the stopwatch icon again to delete that keyframe. Uh, I close all of this, go to my second airplane, hit U to see all of its animated properties, Press the stopwatch to delete any existing position animation, click it again, and then you can paste the new animation. Holding the Alt key, I retime the keyframes so they match up with the rest. Then right click, ease out, and we're simply repeating the same process as seen in the original video tutorial. Go here, adjust the curves, and the airplane is following our new path. The timing isn't quite right, but we can fix that in a minute. I grab all the layers and move them just, just about here. Okay, great. Um, now the other thing is to adjust the speed of our second animation. As you can see, this path is a little bit shorter than the first one. So to ensure that we have a smooth animation, we have to speed up our second flight. I grab these two guys, expand their animated properties, Select all of the keyframes, move this to the first keyframe. While holding the Alt key, I grab the last keyframe in this selection and I can retime them all like this. What I also want to do is get to our second city a little bit quicker. And then also do the same with Barcelona. Let's adjust the airplane a little bit more and we're ready to preview what we've got. Okay, so I see the second animation starts a little too soon, and then 
Barcelona icon animates in a little too late. So let's grab these four layers, push them out to here, and Barcelona should animate in somewhere, somewhere over here. And then let's just see this again. Okay, that's looking great now. And perhaps the only thing is that the camera here starts moving just that little bit too soon. And there you have it. That's more or less the process to add an additional path to your map. And if you wanted to add another two, three or more, the process is exactly the same. Alright, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And thanks for watching.